Hello, beautiful, fantastic people. So here's the deal. You are about ready to watch a day in the life that I filmed last week and my internet went out. You guys remember the whole tobacco. Well, I never put it up and I thought there'd be no better way to usher in the weekend than by putting up a day in the life. It's just some fun, super randomness of me in my office. And I was like, I have to put this somewhere. I thought it'd be great going into the weekend. So if a couple things seem like off or the timeline doesn't seem right, that's because it was from last week. But other than that, you guys, go ahead, enjoy, have a fun laugh, and just hang out with me for the day. And uh, if I don't say it enough, thank you guys for being great because I needed a good laugh. I needed to edit this video because it was funny and I needed, trust me, I needed to laugh. So thank you guys. And uh, without any further ado, let's hop to it. Um, hello, hi, good morning, beautiful people. So today we're doing things a little bit different. Um, you know how I told you in yesterday's video that um, for lack of a better word, I don't have a camera battery. Well, that camera battery is due in today, so I will be able to get back to my normal scheduled videos hopefully soon. But I thought for today I would do a video that some of you have kind of requested, thought it would be fun, um, and that's like a day in the life video, like my normal quote unquote type video. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not that exciting. What's so funny is that out of habit, I actually got up and came into my mom's room to go for the natural light except it's six o'clock in the morning and it is completely black outside which is why behind me is nicely lit with a light and i am so dark i don't know why i'm like i have to go in there that's where the light is best page come on <laughs> like it's early so i thought we would start this in true page fashion um i've actually been up for about two hours i get up right around 4 4 30 because i I have last minute editing to do that's when I get up and I start kind of my day I make a list of the stuff I have to get done that day because if you don't know I do own a couple small businesses with my dad um, so I have that in real life which is what you'll be kind of seeing today and then um, what when I get up extra early you know or early in the morning I use that time really to just get ready um, I'll film during that time for the channel if I have like content I need to film or you know videos that I have planned out um, and if not, I use that time to just, I head into the office and I hit a couple extra hours in. So, um, my mornings start very, very, very early. Um, the latest they usually get started is around five. That's like my like weekday sleep in if I'm really tired or I need a little bit of extra sleep. But for the most part, it's right around four, four thirty. So, um, that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And this is like the part that I was like, I don't know how to do this, but you guys have seen me get ready. You just watched me get ready yesterday. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my face on do my hair a little bit, get dressed. And then we're just going to carry on with our lives. So because it is a little bit later in the day, I've already gotten up. I did some uh, paperwork. I did a little bit of, uh, reading on the internet, researching for the channel and some new lines that are coming out and stuff, because I, I like to know what I'm reviewing. And, uh, just, I like to, keep up with the buzz of the makeup community if you will and that's one of the only ways I can do that so um I got up I did some reading some some figuring out and now I'm gonna go get ready and we are gonna start the day which I know is gonna be super exciting because your girl's in an office <laughs> so very fun but and it'll be cool too because you guys can see like what I've what I've done with the place you never saw it before but trust me when I tell you it was a nightmare so I'm I'm excited to kind of show you guys the the revamp of it um okay let's go do this day i'm excited i'm excited oh my god i'm excited to put some damn stuff on my face girl is looking rough what is this what is this business oh my god all right so it is a lot later now. It is uh, 8.43. I have been in the office and I got like bombarded with people and <laughs> paperwork and work, ew. Um, but the first thing we probably should talk about is that fucking light. Do you see? This is why I don't often like Snapchat or do anything in here. I am getting blasted by this one ridiculously warm colored light. Like, what? Anyways. That's irrelevant. So now that I'm in here and I have a second, I wanted to, first of all, be like, hi, hello. This is my outfit. This is the necklace that you guys just saw in that video. That's This is it on. It looks like so nice and dainty. I love little dainty necklaces when I wear scarves because they're just like a little peekaboo. So they're still cute, but they don't like take up a lot of space. You know what I mean? So this is the big scarf. I got this from... Oh shit, like Nordstrom, I wanna say. I don't know, Jaclyn Hill did like a, um, what is that? 
uh, like a sponsored video last winter from Nordstrom or whatever and she put in it like this big white plush robe which I bought because I was looking for a new robe so that worked out perfectly but I saw this scarf and I had never found a scarf like this that I liked because animal print was always like so tacky and this is the only animal print scarf I think that I have and I love it. It works so good with all, like my all black ensemble, black, my all black ensembles. But I have my black, this is the um, Michael Kors puffer vest that I got from TJ Maxx Marshalls. I did that shop with me video. Um, oh God, that was like a month or a month or two ago. But that's this vest. And then this is just a long sleeve Under Armour black shirt that I've had for like four years. And has somehow miraculously fit me from my fattest to my skinniest and back up to my not so fattest again, which is where I'm at right now. So it's a good thing um light very light curls in my hair which have almost completely fallen out already great um because the weather outside it's disgusting it is like rainy nasty ugh, weather anyways so i wanted to like continue on with my hangout with me so this is my office let me go ahead and i'm trying to figure out how i want to do this uh, cause I have to have a way, here we go, I'll just put Google up, that'll work. Um, so, let's go ahead and just kinda turn you guys around, this is so weird. Oh. So, this is my desk, that's my printer, I know, look at so sexy. Desk, so we have my notebook that I write everything in, my computer, which is, this is like an all-in-one touch flat screen, super fancy, I'll get into that more in a second. Which is funny, cause I have this really nice computer right here, next to this phone right here from like 1982, back when phones first were created. There's my Diet Coke, which is the most important part, some filing, I'm still going through and like working on this pile. And then this is the sexy desk that we just did and put together, my dad and I put it together ourselves, hilarious. There's gonna be a filing cabinet going in this little cubby right here and another little cubby right over here, here, here. Um, actually, I guess it'll be more right here and then we're gonna take this and move it over so the filing cabinet would fit right here. That way it goes filing cabinet, desk, desk all around, and then filing cabinet, which is where those banker's boxes unfolded are right there. So this is kind of, this is not kind of, this is my jam. That's my TV in the corner, so if you ever see me watching TV or anything in a vlog, normally I'm watching it on that TV right there, like MASH or whatever, Netflix, you know, gotta get my jam on. And then this right here, for those of you that don't know much about material, it's filthy right now because see all those little white specks? Yeah, might have had a popcorn explosion, not gonna lie, but this is actually my new stainless steel floor. These are my black boots, hi. Um, this is my stainless steel floor, love this. There's my tiny little heater. And there's my baseboard that I desperately need to clean, I guess. Jim was here. Now, one of my favorite aspects to this office, as you can tell, I turned the camera around, is look at this slide. Woohoo! I love that. I love that I can slide from one side of my office to the other. Why? Because I'm still in inside like a seven-year-old. Oh, and up there, those are just my shelves. But I have why don't why don't I turn it back around? God, I'm so bad at this. But these are my two rows of shelves. So this is the battery box, which as you can tell, I broke. So I have to go through and fix that. But then I have um, envelopes, my Sharpie pens, regular pens. These are just like miscellaneous clips and stuff that fit better in those containers. Up top, we have pencils and erasers, some wipes and miscellaneous other like post-it-y type stuff. Uh, banking type stuff in that bin right there. Um, this is ink and my rubber band ball. Whoops, sorry. And then these two right here are still kind of little junk boxes. This one is mainly tech stuff. And then that one has all my like staples and other big clips and stuff like that. Up top, we just have obviously more books and yeah. It's not really that exciting past all that stuff. I don't know what, this camera's got like all these weird like little gadgets looking at me and shit and I don't know, hello, I don't know what you are. Okay, you win. You win, demon. Whatever you say. My bad, sorry about that. Evidently, I put you guys in the wrong mode and it was having like a heart attack. So anyways, this is all the fun that is my office. So I've been working on this, you guys. It was, I'm, I'm actually grateful I don't have like a before shot of this office because it was embarrassing. It was literally 10 years of just shit like piled in here. And I did like, as of late especially, I've been doing a really light like makeup day like I did today just so I can get in here and not like, 
you know, I, I, I don't want to have it like out of sorts for too long. I like it to be put together, especially now that I'm putting all this extra like time and energy into it. But anyways, that's why my makeup as of late has just been like really fast. Like, boom, 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 boom. okay, I'm done. <laughs> like true, true talk. I think today I actually forgot primer altogether. Wow. Okay. That light makes me look like, look at up here. It's not as bad. I put you over here and it's like, whoa, bitch, you got shadows for days. The, well, you know the one thing I'm going to say before I go back to work? Um, one of the things that I learned about um, from the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson video, one of the things that I had never really put much thought into is uh, Shane Dawson said to Jeffree Star, he goes, why don't you talk about this part of your life? Like, you know, your daily life with your businesses and stuff. And Jeffree Star said, well, I just didn't think anyone would find it interesting. And I loved that explanation because I never, as I was sitting here, cause I've been asked before, like, why don't you ever put your day to day life in there? Like you don't have to tell them, you know, what you own, where you're at, like physically, but like, why don't you talk about this? Why don't you, you know, bring people in? And I've just always been very like, nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about my real life. Like, why would they? Well, Paige, I don't know. Why would you care about Jeffree Star's real life? It's because you care about him, like as a human, as not just a public figure but as like a person that you get to know and see and you get to experience him on camera and it's cool to be able to tie the person you see on camera to the person in their real life and you see that like wow they're really not much different than me and I thought it would be nice because at the end of everything I'm not different from you guys at all I am literally just like so many of you that go to an office and you sit or you go to a family business or you go to wherever and you live your daily life and I thought it was kind of cool just to be able to bring you guys into my daily life and I don't know I liked it I liked the concept so that's why I decided to do it anyways let me go ahead and it's time to do some home or homework I'm sorry what is this second grade by the way I'm still drinking this Diet Coke. It's from yesterday. So I'm really in it more for like that ke chemical desperation right now. Because I got to be honest. It tastes like not good. Nope. It still tastes bad. But I do. I just keep drinking it. Because why? Chemical dependency, my friend. Chemical dependency. Oh, hello. Oh my God, that is very close. You know, honestly, okay, so my makeup is rough. The terrain of my face looks rough in here. But overall, it doesn't look awful, I suppose. I don't know. Y'all are just gonna have to deal with it because, girl, we got some bad lighting up into the beach. Okay, let's go. Let's go do some life. Let's do some life. What a fun day to hang out. I feel very optimistic today. Is that weird? I don't know, but I love my scarf. I'm so weird. Let's go. Kids, you gotta get some work done. It's been like 15 minutes. Woo! Time to get back in the game. All right, so it has been a couple of hours and um, it's almost lunchtime. So just, you know, catching up here. Fun fact, I'm eating an apple even though it's gonna be lunchtime in about 15 minutes because I was starving to death. And then my packages got here. Why do I always want to eat when I turn on the camera? I don't know why that just like naturally exudes from me. I'm sorry, okay, let's not like smear gloss all over my face. So. I'm so excited because guess what just got here? Camera batteries! Yay! These are from Best Buy and they are brand name Canon. And the reason I wanted to mention this on camera is just in case I know a lot of you guys film and whatnot. Um, I actually was reading um, a little thing about um, batteries and cameras and like having a higher end camera. They said that you need to make sure, especially if you have one of the bigger, nicer, uh, like Canon cameras, like I do that you use Canon brand, uh, batteries, my God, my words. And it talked about how, when you don't, it can cause problems, uh, with your camera. It'll actually force your camera to shut off. And the reason I wanted to say all this is because normally I would be like, oh, that's a bullshit article written for them to sell batteries, but it's not, it is true. That is exactly what happened to me. I had um, two Canon bat batteries, like the brand name, and then I had bought on Amazon just like two off name Chinese batteries, whatever, um, to be like backup batteries just in case, and they do not work. They are the worst batteries, and I've tried a couple different off brands, and it's because that's exactly what happens. Like I'll be filming just like I am right now, all of a sudden, 
it'll say like oh you have a full battery it'll show me full battery light and then what happens is your camera just like shuts off because your battery dies it goes from full battery and in one blink it goes oh it's dead and then it shuts off and when it hard shuts off like that you lose all that footage and so I was filming with these and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why in the hell my camera was just dying and because or not dying I knew the battery was dying but I couldn't figure out why I was losing all that footage just because my battery was dying and that's when I read in this article that when you're using those off-brand cameras or batteries that's what happens is it trips something in your in your camera and it makes you when it shuts off you lose everything before it so um, that happened to me probably three times before I was like holy shit and I couldn't figure it out and then I found that article and then I think actually it might have been Casey Holmes. I heard a YouTuber talk about it too and they were like, no, this is real and it really is real. So if you guys have that problem or you've noticed that and you do YouTube or whatever, do not skimp and get the off-brand batteries. I mean, you can try it if you want to. I know I did, but it backfired. So I bought two of these. They're not cheap, but they do last really well. Um, and they're really nice batteries. Again, other than the one that I broke, which was totally on accident. So this is exciting because this means tomorrow your girl can film. Woohoo! That's so exciting. Okay, so we can get rid of all that garbage. I mean, do I really do I really need this packet of instructions or is it a battery? Like, come on. Is it necessary? When you buy batteries, do you not know? Come from one battery. Come on, we're killing trees left and right over here. Thank you for purchasing a Canon product. Okay, I'll read this later. Should I care about it? Maybe I can register it. That's a good idea. I'm gonna register my fancy ass batteries. Um, all right, and then what else came in the mail today? I figured we'd do like a little unboxing because right around lunch is when like packaging, hello, I just got one second. I just gotta throw that over there. Um, right around or right before lunch is usually when packages and stuff like that start to show up. And so I thought we would kind of go through them and guess what? Halo Beauty's here. Hello, Halo. You guys, I love my Halo vitamins. It just ran out last night. Very excited to see these. And as you can tell, my mom and I both take them. And then when we break into the third bottle, um, it, because we both ran out, that's how I know I need to reorder more. And I don't have to pay shipping, so that's great. I love Halo. I actually have a full, full video on it. Um, my mom and I have been taking it, so it's an update before and after and all that. And I will link that right up here. No, yeah, it'd be up. It, it's always above this shoulder. It's always above this shoulder, but if it's not, it'll be up here. So anyways, I do have a full video on that if you are curious because I do recommend it. Um, I have some more info on the Kiwi one, but um, as far as what I take and what I love and to continue to purchase, this guy right here is sexy. And then, um, oh, due for delivery today is the color bob stick color bob the color pop stick foundation it's not here yet but it's supposed to be here soon and this big bad boy oh beach i'm excited this one i have been waiting for uh for what seems like years and years except it really hasn't been it's been like um not not even a week um you guys i'm about ready to pee why can't i just open this package why is there so much tape you guys i can't see where it begins and where it ends oh my god Phone scared the shit out of me. See what happens when I get in the zone? Auto zone. Oh, fucking phone. All these people want to call me, talk about shit, and all I want to do, I'm just like, can I just open my makeup package, please? So excited, and y'all are ruining my buzz. You guys. Pat McGrath, the Opulence Collection. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. I love every... Okay, what what is this crap? It's like taped. Hello? God called. He said, quit putting tiny little clear tape on my packages. Um, I, I love Pat McGrath. I love these so much. Oh my God. These little books of heaven, like I just, oh, the little six pans. I love these. These are so good for travel. I have, I, I never said, I, I always said, I was like, I will not travel with Pat McGrath. Well, I had to run down to, uh, downstate. This was, God, this was probably like six months ago. But I had one of the, the new mini ones when they had just come out with one of these little six pans. And I took it with me. So good. Such a good little travel thing. And the way that they did it is they released the Opulence Collection in three little bundles. So basically you got the three palettes and then each one came with the corresponding lipstick duo. So like obviously these go together and then these are these other two lipstick duos over here. And I'm just so excited, like, oh my God. And there was a 10% off coupon when I ordered it as a bundle. It was like, hello, basically saying, Paige, please fall in love with me. And I'm sorry, but the presentation of this, they are blue little lipstick tubes. 
come on. Like, are you really gonna tell me that I don't need this? Because I would probably go to war over that one. Oh my God, so good. Oh, I'm not gonna, oh my God, Pat McGrath, I love you. I love the packaging of Pat McGrath. Like, as far as packaging, Pat McGrath and Jeffree Star are just up there for me. I just can't. They put so much thought and love into their packages and into like how cute everything looks. Like, come on. The, oh, I'm obsessed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Paige, we need to calm down. So this will be coming probably next week because I'm pretty much booked, I believe, for the rest of this week. But next week, oh, you know what? How do I want to do this? Do I want to do... Maybe I'll do like every other day, like I could do a Pat McGrath one of these or I could do them all three in a row and then just like get it out of the way. That's a lot of high end, like all at once. That's, that's a lot of Pat McGrath. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? How should I do that? I don't know. I'm so excited that it's here. Oh my God. I like, okay. I love a good deal as next, as much as the next person, but when it comes to like purchasing quality and like Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, Jeffree Star, like well, Jeffree Star isn't that expensive, but some of the more expensive ones, I'm just like, is it worth it? And I feel like Pat McGrath is always consistently worth it. No matter what it is, what the product, like Pat McGrath is just so consistent, whether it's a lipstick, a lip liner, a gloss, these things, like it's so good. Even, even the liquid lipsticks in those little, those three pouches that they came out with last year, love those, love their little pouch highlight things I have. Like I just, I, I've come to know and love Pat McGrath. Like the brand is so consistent. Again, just like Jeffree Star, like I know that I've had issues. I just said the word like 15 times. I've become one of those people. Um, but just uh, the same way that Jeffree Star is the same way. Very, very consistent, very good. The products are very good, thorough, thought through, like no issue with those products. Natasha Denona, I've had a couple that I'm like, ooh, ooh, I don't know about that. But I have not experienced that with Pat McGrath or with Jeffree Star yet. Like everything has been so top notch. I have an itch like right here and it's really starting to get to me. Like on a spiritual level, it's starting to irritate me. So anyways, I just wanted to share that. Um, the lipsticks, or not the lipsticks, what? The um, ColourPop thingies, they haven't gotten here yet. And I have been filing and working my life away and I thought, what is such a good reward? Um, hello, getting to open your packages. That's the best reward there is. So I'm actually really excited because I have a couple of pretty stellar videos coming this week, um, which is exciting. And then I have um, some more Christmas sets that we're going to look at here eventually. I'm just putting my camera batteries in this package so I don't forget them because that would be tragic. Um, but yeah, no, I have I have a uh, couple more Christmas packages that we're going to get into, Christmas collections. I have some Too Faced stuff from their Christmas collection, Pure, a Christmas collection from them. And then theirs was actually really cute. They did like a collab with the Grinch. That was adorable. Um, what else is there? I feel like there might be one more, but I can't remember. I don't know. I'm excited, you guys. I have so much stuff like on deck for my channel. And that was part of the reason that I got so irritated when my camera battery came up missing. I'm like, come on. I have the best shit to review right now. And you're trying to tell me that I cannot review it. Like, come on. I was so mad. <laughs> I was pissed. So anyways, that is my update there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I'm a savage. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love apples so much. This is a honey crust. This is my favorite. I can barely see it. It's so sunny out here. Is all the deliciousness of lunch. Um, for those of you that don't know, I don't know if I've ever talked about it. Oh God, more so. Be my mom. My mom actually has us a homemade lunch every day for the crew and for all of us. So she's fantastic. We get home cooking every day. And what that means is that basically we get fat. No, um, we eat and then uh, as everybody else goes back to work, we all have a little bit of minutes for our 
ourselves and I like to take a little walk. So I go out, I see the trees and I don't know how I'm gonna do this in the winter, but as of late, I have really loved coming out and just taking a couple, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's just like a 10, 15 minute little thing. I like to walk around, you know, that way my hair doesn't look good at all because I just, I lost all the curl anyways, but I don't know, I love to get out and just go for a walk. It's a little chilly today, so I apologize for the wind, but it feels good to just get out and like have the sun kind of beat down on my face for like a minute, even though I have to shiver. It feels kind of awesome. Okay, the wind is ridiculous, so I will see you guys back in the office, but this is just a little piece of my day that I like to do. Sorry guys, I had to take cover. Look at the wind, look at my hair. The skies are pretty. Um, anyways, so I try to get out here. Um, this is the first one I've had, have got a chance to do. I call this taking a lap. This is the first lap I've gotten to take today. Um, I like to come out and do this as much as possible. Like, you know, two, three times a day is my average. So anyways, ooh, I gotta get back inside because it's cold. And I tried to slow down so you guys didn't hear so much wind, but all you heard was wind. And look at this cute angle. Come on, it's kind of like I'm up in the heavens. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's go back inside and do some work. I'm cold. Oh, burr, shit. All right, made it in. Had to put my hair up because as you guys saw, not a good situation. Opened myself up a bag of some popcorn and it's time to just get a little bit of work done. So be ready to be excited. <laughs> Yeah, I love Monopoly. Really? I'm pretty mature. Telemarketers. Gotta love it. He said oh, we can sit here and play games all day or I can call you back. And I said, bitch, I love games. Bring on the games. I love games. Seriously, I love them. They're fun. Okay, so let's have a chit chat. Chat, chat, chat. What was that? I, do you ever... So I get a I get a text message and you know how like you'll be talking to someone and if you read another word you you'll like say it like if I read the word banana I'd be like oh blah 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 banana and you like you don't mean to say it but like you just read it so you say it I have this thing and I know other people do it too where like you don't say the word you say like a morph of what you read and what you were gonna say so I'd be like so yeah I had a good it was nice to and like it comes out all wrong like it was nice to meet you just kidding it was nice to banana man and Anna you you know what I mean and I've been doing that all day today every time I look away or like I was reading an email before my internet went out and I happen to be reading this email my nose it's just so bad today um but I just so happened, I just so happened to be reading this email and the phone rang and as the phone rang, I was like really processing this email. I felt so bad. This person was talking and I was like, what? Because, I, and I don't know what was going on, but in my mind, as I read the email, it's like what they were saying to me. And I don't, I, I that, it just tells, goes to show you, like, I need to not, like, I need to not try to multitask because today is not a multitask kind of day. Some days it's like real good, quick, simple, and on other days it's like womp, 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 not happening. Well, you guys, I've successfully eaten about a third of this bag of popcorn. It's delicious. This is my favorite, hands down, like not as bad for you, air quotes, popcorn. This is the Smart Food Delight in Sea Salt. Same brand, has one in white cheddar. They're both really good they're like not bad again calorically what is that 35 calories per cup not bad at all as far as that goes but i really love the flavor of it you know how sometimes when you eat popcorn it tastes so like chemical and like ew and then they add salt but you're like what the hell did you put on the popcorn to make the salt stick to the popcorn you know what i'm talking about it's like they sprayed it with glue and then they were like oh sprinkle fucking salt on there not a fan this it tastes more like air popped popcorn that they really did like 
like hit it with salt right when it was still warm like it has that flavor to it and that that feeling of there being something else on the popcorn isn't bad like i kind of love this uh, i'm so tired i have popcorn stuck in my tooth mm. maybe i'll leave it there character building i don't know no i'm just kidding i won't leave it there i actually i just dropped another piece did you guys watch in that sped up clip first of all I nailed the throw the popcorn in your mouth three times. I've never in my life been able to do it once, did it three times. Go me. I've got to get uh, finished up some work before the end of the day because I procrastinated long enough. Okay, I will check in with you guys here in a hot minute because the day is just about over. Wow, that lighting, that's got to go. Got to go. All right, so hell yes, day is over. Finally at home, ready to take off the clothes not well not the clothes you know what i'm talking about take off the makeup take off all this and i am so ready <laughs> to usher myself into my pajamas now for those of you that don't know see what i mean like my nose by the end of the day i itch because foundation like i don't know what it is some days i'm totally fine other days my face like itches by the end is that weird um like this is i wear the same powder every day like my mac powder wear it all the time sometimes i just itch i don't know it's a thing anyways the point is that the day is over so if i want to just itch my nose and rub off all my foundation i'm gonna do that so which i just got foundation all over my hand probably not the smartest move i've ever made whatever so day is over this is where things get so exciting because you guys i take my makeup off and i uh edit a video and i go to bed like this, this is my whole life um but i just i don't know it's, it's fun this is the time in my day when i kind of like recap what i did what i forgot to do and i like go make phone calls drastically trying to figure out what i've forgotten by the way this is the one of the kim k fragrances and vibe oh girl she smells so good my phone just went off and it's in the other room that's so weird do you hear that? It's like way over there. What the hell am I supposed to do with a phone in the other damn room? Irritating. Well, we're going to take this vest off. That's what we're going to do. Because we're sure as hell not about ready to waste a trip in there. I'll tell you that right now. Wow, my hair is like falling out. You guys, I forgot a hair tie and I ha, had to put it up really lightly with a rubber band. Like, And by really lightly, I mean I literally put it up like one half twist. Like it was barely tucked up. I'm terrified of rubber bands. Cause, like the actual rubber bands. They're so bad for your hair. Um, that I just, I won't even go near them unless I'm desperate. And I a little bit was desperate today. So it's nice to get to deal with that. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so happy. I'm happy my day is over and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm just happy. I don't know. I'm happy. I try to be happy. This is the time in my day I have to remind myself that I'm happy because my nights go by really, really fast. Like, I just got here and it is already like after five and I go to bed at eight. So I have a very small amount of time to get back and get in my PJs, take off all, take off all my makeup and like, you know, do my facial cleansing and put on all my products, whatever. Um, and get, take care of like any last minute stuff that I forgot for the day. And then I have to sit down, I have to upload my footage to the computer and then render it and then sit down and edit it and then have it ready for upload all by the freaking time i go to bed at like eight sometimes if i'm editing and it takes longer i'll like press it to like a little after eight but i try really really hard to be in bed like very close to eight even if i'm not sleeping because sometimes i can't always sleep but i try really hard to like stick to that schedule my phone can wait i'm not walking in there i'm not leaving you guys we are like this i'm not doing it so anyways that was that um i don't know i feel like what was I, how was I gonna planning to remove my makeup? Here we go. Um, I have been doing the, these, I've been doing this for a while. This is the Bioderma. I think this might even be my second bottle of it. I don't know. I like this stuff though. And then these are just little cotton square things. But anyways, I, uh, I really love like when I take my makeup off, I either, I'll do one of two things. Like lately I've been propping up my phone and I watch Chicago Fire because hello, I'm addicted. Um, but other times I'll like put on a YouTube video and I'll like watch one of those. And it's just a really good time for me to be able to like calm down, kind of decompress. And like before I have to jump into, you know, doing my own YouTube thing and whatnot, it's nice to just be able to be like, okay, I'm good. Oh, and if you're wondering why the water is running, it's because it takes about um, as much time for me to remove this as it does for that to become warm. So it's, for some reason, it doesn't do this in the morning. It only does it at night. It just takes longer for the hotness to, to kick in, which whatever. It is what it is. 
old plumbing will do that um but anyways i love this time after work because it's just like it's a couple minutes that i have to me that are just like okay it's my time page if you need to think about something or if there's something on my mind i try to work through it right now because girl like there's stuff i gotta get done i have gotta go and uh i've gotta start editing my own videos and it's just you know there's time is of the essence so i try really hard to make all of my you know two alone times i really have to make those count there's something in my eye isn't that enjoyable sir sir but yeah i try so all of that to be said this is one of my most favorite like upbeat ish times and i'm very happy i mean and i'm not like mad or anything that i'm like spending it with you guys i don't want it to come across like that because i'm actually quite happy that you guys finally got this video it's something that like i said this morning you know some of you have really asked for it and a lot of you have just made the comment over and over again that you really love getting to like see me and know me and know my real life and things like that so i just thought it would be a perfect day but i'm very excited that those batteries came in because tomorrow morning when your girl wakes up she gonna be filming real early oh okay got all that off time to wash my face time to wash my face which by the way this is my ow this is i just like burn my hand because it's very hot apparently but this is the uh clarisonic mia smart right here which i got in this color and then this is the simple sensitive face wash which i'm testing out to see if i like it i as you guys know i'm constantly revolving new face products to give you my opinion what i think if i like them all that good stuff and this is no exception oh yeah girl and you guys just got done look at hello look at my freshly cleansed face um this is the mia smart 2 that i was just talking about these were like released pre, 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 i think maybe like two or three months ago roughly from clarisonic which is where i bought mine from straight from the website and you could have it like engraved on the back and i don't know if it'll pop up or not hold on there we go i think you guys can see it now i don't know if it's backwards or not but right here in like this nice cursive -y font i had it um engraved with the words forever seeking and i just love that i thought that was like the cutest little like perfect way to like make it mine because like seeking alexandria i've told you guys what that means before and um if you're wondering and if you're new by the way i can put that in a video right here i did like a mask and chill and i talked to you guys about what that means some of my og people that have been here a while you know what it means but i've only really explained it on my channel probably two or three times and that's the most current so i will link that up there if you're curious um but given what it means i just thought forever seeking was like a cute little like a cute little thing you know i'm all about like words having meaning and all that cute jazz um and i just love it so anyways um this oh god this bathroom you guys oh, stressing me out this is supposed to be if you didn't watch me i did a complete like overview slash um what was that called um like reorganizing of my uh pantry where i bake and stuff and i can link that up here but it was such a fun video and after that i was gonna do this bathroom and i have had zero freaking time to do it and i'm so bummed about it by the way if you're wondering what that was that was the quadly uh something purifying toner yeah the quadly quadly okay the quadly purifying toner it says purifying essential oils complex exfoliating salicylic acid and soothing grape water it's down to about here so this will be in a future empties video but um anyways this whole bathroom and like organizing it and all that shit this was supposed to be a video and i was gonna come in and take measurements i have had no time like literally i haven't had a spare 12 seconds to myself to do any of this stuff and i'm like i'm so irritated um but i'm trying to be super positive and like you know i, I don't want to organize it and force it because then i feel like it's going to have that feeling to it and i don't want that feeling i want it to have like a happy refreshed organized feeling so when i have time i'm not going to stress myself out about it i will come in i have a hair in my mouth i will take my measurements and i will really like plan this out because for a bathroom i actually i know you guys have never seen it because it's a disaster in here but i actually do have a lot of space for a bathroom or like you know for cabinetry and stuff i have two like double door situations over here that open up which is obviously where i just was so i have this cabinet space um 
the medicine cabinet right here is uh, like or mirror I should say behind that there's kind of a medicine-y type cabinet in there is where I keep my perfumes I have a double sink which is currently filled like the other sink is filled with like clothes and towels and crap and then I have just this huge space that's probably the space in between the sink is about two feet by like two feet roughly square um, that connects the two sinks on like this big long area and it's just covered in product like I just I have product I have a fucking foot deep window also covered in crap like it's just it's a lot of laziness mixed in with there's just no organization and I'm so excited to organize it oh, I'm, I'm just like you know what I mean you ever just been there and you're just like oh I'm so excited like it's a task and it's a big task and I know it's gonna be a big task but I'm still excited because it will be such a stress reliever when it's all said and done oh, I'm so excited you guys I'm gonna go get into my pajamas and I'll be right back I'm not gonna do that on camera because your girl will get flagged for all kinds of inappropriateness it's just it's not my jam okay so I like to be clothed and cloaked in cuteness <laughs> okay I'll be right back don't mess with me oh hello you beautiful fantastic people I made it to my pajamas I am slumped over oh my god the edge of my mom's bed I have to go edit this video and then it will be up for your viewing pleasure so I just wanted to stop on one last time and say thanks again so much for hanging out I hope that you uh, check out the other socials that are down in the description and mainly on Instagram and Twitter though I'm not gonna lie I'm not on all these damn Instagram or not Instagram but I'm not on all these social media who got time for that girl you saw my day-to-day -day. I have popcorn to eat I have stuff to deal with <sighs> so anyways you guys thanks for hanging out I know some of you were really uh, looking for this kind of a video, so I hope that this kind of met your desires. I know I'm not that exciting, but you know, my day is jam-packed full of fun and excitement and work and YouTube and yeah, it's just a good time. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.